Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching Funny. So today we are going to be making my family's traditional delicacy that is fish stuffed tomatoes. Now in case you're wondering how to make this then don't go any further. Stay right here in this video so without further ado, let's get started. So these are pretty much the ingredients needed. So let's move on with prepping our tomatoes. We take a tomato and cut the top part of it, not fully, just enough to, uh, to scoop out the pulps inside and make room for the fish stuffing. Now as I said that this recipe is my family's delicacy, but to be honest, I don't know how to make it. I only know how to eat it. And my mom who makes it the best, I, I convinced her and she was kind of skeptical about it but finally she got convinced and the, so the hands you're seeing is hers and, and I also thought that you might get bored by seeing my hands only so this is for the change. Now let's move on with the fish. The fish is a special kind of fish in Bengali we call it boal mach which is only used in this recipe but if you're willing to try another and if you're feeling so experimental then you can tr you're happy to do that. But you have to scramble it, I forgot while I was talking. So we take a pan or a karhai whatever and then add some oil and some uh, onions and saute it and add the fish. But I, uh, sorry I forgot to say that this fish was boiled. I did not tell you. Now I'm telling so you know now. Uh, the fish was boiled and now um, before scrambling it so just have to boil it for 10 or 5 minutes and then scramble it and then add to the pan and fry it well and then we add our um, what it is called salt and turmeric <laughs> sorry <laughs> salt and turmeric and saute it well now make sure this pan uh, this the fish doesn't stick to the pan so you have to keep on sauteing it well and then you add the uh, chili powder and keep on sauteing and then you add some grated ginger and some chopped chilies Ooh, alliteration. I love it. Grated ginger and chopped chilies. Oh my god. When literature meets cooking. Oh my god. Wow. And then you add some mustard paste because this fish and mustard goes well. So mustard is a must. <laughs> Great pun. No, bad joke. Sorry. <laughs> and keep on keep on sorting it. And then we add some of the pulp which we scooped out from the tomatoes. Remember? If you don't, then you ha are happy to rewind. But if you remember, then this is the thing that is, that is added. And when you're convinced that it's kind of scrambled and fried, then you have to remove it from the heat. Now that we're done with all the frying and all, and you're back with my boring old hand and my worn off nail polish. Now that I've pointed, I feel so shameful. I mean, but who cares? You're not here for my manicures or the color of my nail polish. It's not... A nails channel guys I, this is a cooking channel you're only here for the food I know so we don't look at my nails okay so we just have to uh, this thing stuff the stuffing inside the tomatoes and in case you're wondering how to seal it then we are not I am here though my nail polish is off but I am on <laughs> no <laughs> sorry <laughs> the sound is so wrong in so many levels okay now we just have to make a slurry to seal it up. The slurry is made from flour and water and the first one has been done by my mom and this is the um, thing which has been done by me. Okay and then we just when we are done uh, sealing all these things so we just let them hang out in, in the pan full of oil. I was very scared while putting it I can see and then we cover it up. And when you see that the colors of the tomato has changed a little bit, then it's time to turn it and let them cook on the other side. Okay, I'm scared again. <laughs> I don't know why I'm scared. Okay, now when you're done with the, all the cooking part, then you just have to remove it from the oil into the plate. And this is how it looks like. It tastes so nice. I generally have it with rice, but you can have it with nothing at all. It's up to you. And I hope you like it. And thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye. Let me enjoy. Bye.